Hi there, in this video, we're gonna be completing an engine oil service on this 2017 model Mazda CX-5. Now this is running the two liter Sky Active G engine and it's the KF series. Now as part of this engine oil service, we'll be replacing the engine oil filter. Now this is the genuine Mazda oil filter for this car. We'll be replacing the engine oil sump plug gasket, which is this metal ring here and we'll be replacing the engine oil. Now the engine oil we're gonna be using today is this Castrol Edge 10W30, and it's a full synthetic engine oil. Now always check the owner's manual because depending on the season and your ambient conditions, the engine oil spec may vary even for the same engine. Now from a cost perspective, the oil filter cost me about $23.51. The oil sump plug gasket cost me about $4.88 and the engine oil cost me $39. Now this was on special from 65. Now what I like to do before I actually drain the engine oil is allow the engine to run for about five minutes. That way we get the oil warm, not hot, warm and that way it flows out of the engine easier. So we'll start up the engine and we'll just let the engine run for about five minutes. And it's also a good time to check that your transmission is in park and that your handbrake is up. And don't forget to put some stoppers behind both rear wheels. Now remember, before you get under a vehicle, always use proper car stands. Never rely on the jack alone. And pop the hood. And what I also like to do is remove the engine oil fill cap, and that way the oil can flow easier when we go to drain it. Now at the front of the vehicle, on the right hand side, is this cover plate. We have to remove that in order to get access to the sump plug and also the oil filter. So here is our engine oil filter and here is the sump plug. So just from another view, here's our engine oil filter and our sump plug and our sump plug gasket that sits underneath that. So we'll remove the sump plug first, let the oil drain out and then we'll remove the engine oil filter. Now this step is quite messy, so I've just put some cardboard underneath the vehicle and then we'll put our oil tray just over there. Now to remove the actual sump plug, you'll need an 8mm hex bit like this. Now temporarily, while the oil is almost finished draining out, I'm just going to put the original sump plug and gasket back in, and that way I don't get messy when it goes to undoing the oil filter. So I'll just leave that loose for now. So now we're just going to grab our new oil filter, take the plastic off, and there is a bit of a light film on that o-ring, but still I just like to get some of the old engine oil and just put it across the face of that o-ring, and that way it allows it to not only seal better, but it also allows us to take it off easier next time as well. So now we're going to install this new engine oil filter. And this is where our oil filter goes, so I'm just going to Give that a bit of a clean with a rag before we install the new one, like that. And now we're going to grab our new filter, which is here, and we're going to screw it in place 
Now it's important that you don't force the screwing, otherwise you might strip or cross thread the filter. All right, so we're just gonna do it hand tight. All right, so now that the oil filter is in place, we're going to install a new sump plug gasket and then screw that in properly and fill the engine with oil. All right, so we have here our engine oil sump plug and we've got the old gasket on there. So discard the old gasket and install the new one like that. And now we're ready to install this back into the engine oil sump. All right, so we're just going to give that another wipe as well like that and we're going to get our sump plug with our new gasket then we get our 8mm hex bit and just tighten and just give it another wipe and that way we can tell once we put the new engine oil if there's any leaks so now that we've installed the sump plug it's time to put back this cover plate So now it's time to fill the engine with oil and I'm just in the owner's manual looking up the specs for the engine oil and with oil filter replacement we're looking at 4.2 litres of engine oil. Alright so now that the engine oil is settled we'll just check the level with the dipstick. That's good idea to give it a wipe before we take our final reading so you can see now the engine oil is between in fact probably a little bit over the um, top fill hole there so that should be enough engine oil by the time it settles and goes through all the oil galleries that'll be fine and just screw our oil fill plug back in that. We're just going to start up the engine and make sure that oil goes throughout the whole engine and make sure that there's no leaks as well underneath the vehicle. So now that we've had the engine running for a bit, I'm just going to do one final check on the engine oil level. And you can see that that's probably a little bit over. So I might have to just take out a bit of oil. So there you have it. That's how you can successfully change the engine oil, engine oil filter, and engine oil sump plug gasket in a Mazda CX-5. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.